went over to my mom's the other day to help her set up a new TV for a monitor. Got rid of her 19 inch and got her just a 32 inch TV. And was trying to get her machine set up. Um, come to find out she had a one terabyte Seagate drive, which was all of her personal documents. And she had a 500 gig drive of a backup from like a year ago that was in her safe. Um, also, Windows was having problems. So I basically had to reinstall Windows because it wouldn't do a repair and I wouldn't fix it. So she went out and bought a 2 terabyte external drive, which we're going to put all of her documents on. And she bought a 1 terabyte external drive, which is going to go in her safe along with a new backup copy of this 500, so she has two backups. Um, what had happened is after doing a scan, the Seagate um, has bad sectors on it and was failing. So I got it out of there, um, tried to recover the files yesterday and it was not working at all. It just wouldn't recognize the drives when you plug it into Windows. <clears throat> got her windows reloaded. Got that all set up, um, and then I end up purchasing a Cronus Revive um, in hopes to try and recover those files. It was not working at all yesterday when I was over there. It just sat there on the initial screen saying initializing and just wouldn't go anywhere. It would recognize the drives, but it wouldn't open them, it wouldn't do anything. So, you want to talk about having patience in the IT world. I started this this morning at about 11, I think. Uh, it got through step one, the initializing part. It just sat there at a blank screen saying initializing. Uh, almost, what is it, three now? So almost four hours later, we finally got to the screen where you could select the drive and it actually recognized the drive and I was able to select it and now I'm finally able to get to step two to select an action. Click down next and we'll wait again. But yeah, it's been four hours now um, and we're finally able to get this far. Which is not necessarily a good sign but I will be back in a little bit to see how the progress goes. Alright, well, it looks a little promising anyway. Well, after about five hours now, we are what looks like the last step of recovery. Um, it is supposedly recovering files at this point. Um, it is just started and not really going anywhere. I'm going to do a little improvise on the drive. It was getting quite hot. So I put just a somewhat of an ice pack, I guess, on it. So it's, it's not hot anymore, but it's not like cold or any condensation or anything. So at least it's just keeping it cooler. Just hoping that'll help things. Now we just wait. We are making progress. 179 out of about 38,000. This is going to take a while. It says remaining time left is 13 days. <laughs> so, <laughs> might have to change out the cooling a little later. But, we'll see how it goes. Making progress anyway. Alright, it's still going. 492 out of almost 38,000 files. Not sure why it's trying to recover recycle bin stuff. This was an external drive, well, internal, but just a separate drive just for personal files. I understand that when you delete stuff, it's going to go to the recycle bin anyway, but I don't recall checking that or having it try and restore recycle bin, but apparently it's going through that mess first, so. Um, the ice pack thing that I had um, 
got warm and I don't have any other ones, so I had to run to Walmart and made a kind of a makeshift fan to keep this cool because it's ah, it feels good now. It was getting pretty warm as it ice pack and cooled off. Ugh. Ice pack warmed up. Um, so just gonna have to let that run and keep that cool. Yeah, that feels a lot better now. Um, still says it's got three days. It's been bouncing back and forth between 29 days, 13 days. But it's seemed to be kind of stuck on 492 files for some reason. It's just taken a while, but it is going and pressing, so check back tomorrow. Alright, we are on day two. Got the fan on the drive. Nice and cool. Start it over. It is making progress again. I made sure the recycle bin was not selected this time. Uh, looks like it's actually recovering files. So, I'm gonna let that run. Hopefully, it does not disconnect this time. Alright, still nice and cool. We are actually making some pretty good progress. We're at 13, almost 14,000 of 37,000. Um, I think we're on day, I don't even know, three, four now. Um, so, it's going good. Still going along. Well, I am just beyond pissed right now. Gotta love Windows updates. I come in here and the computer was sitting at the login screen. Why? Windows freaking updates. So it just automatically restarted my machine. And now, I don't know, I was going to say I need to start over, but I probably don't because I was just looking through, I'm not going to open it now because of personal stuff, but I was looking through the folder and it looked like it recovered most of everything. Um, I don't know how much is left. I know there was probably... Um, what was it, 31, it was like 6,000 files left, um, so I kind of have an idea of about where it left off, it was, it was stuck yesterday, um, so what I'll do is I'll start it up again, and probably just uncheck the top folders down to about pictures, that's about where it was hung up at, um, and then just run it from there. Okay, a couple things. One, I realized I had my white balance cranked way up, so videos looked a little weird. So I turned the white balance down, so now they should look a little more normal. Um, so, pretty much about done. Um, I think with the last part that I just recorded um, had the Windows update it shut down lost everything well, I didn't lose everything it copied over everything still but I lost where I was what I was in the middle of <clears throat> and there was about 6,000 files left I think um, so what it is I end up restarting it um, look through some of the folders to see what was missing and Apparently I got about 3,500 out of the 6,000, so I'm still missing about 3,000 files. So once this is done, I'm going to have to kind of open it up and look through all the folders, which takes a long time to do because when you start up a Cronus and get to the point where you can click on what folders you want, 
any little click just sits there for a good 20 minutes, 40 minutes uh, before it actually does something. Um, nothing to do with the program, the software, it's just, the, it's just not reading the drive, so it's just taking a really long time. Uh, so I just want to do kind of a final video. I'm not going to do another one once this finishes. Um, this will pretty much be about it. <clears throat> um, and the pictures that it's on now is stuff that I have already that I had given to my mom, just pictures uh, from the lake cabin and whatnot. So I'm not going to worry about recovering those. I'll just copy the new files from my computer over to hers um, and not worry about recovering them. Um, so as far as a review with the Cronus Revive, um, Cronus Revive 2019, um, is it the best recovery software out there? I don't know. I haven't used anything else. Well, I've used, um, let's see, I've used Recover, um, which for a free program wasn't bad. Um, I would probably venture to say this is better than that, obviously. Um, but I don't have anything else to compare it to to say whether it's the best or not. Um, the drive was failing, so um, I know there was files that it couldn't recover, and it was making a list of those. Um, and clearly some of these it says uh, read failure on different sectors. So it's, it's not able to recover all of the files, but mm, that's only because the hard drive is failing. So uh, as far as any other professional software, um, like the one out of, I think it was the guy out of California, the $300 recovery, um, he can access the drive without booting into Windows. A Cronus Revive cannot access the drive without booting into Windows. <clears throat> uh, so that's why it's taking so long. Um, I've tried to just bring up Windows Explorer and access the drive and the files, and it just it just won't read it. Um, so at least from that standpoint, a Cronus Revive is pretty good, I would say, uh, because it is reading the drive and able to pull the files off of there when Windows can't even read the drive. So I would say that's pretty good um, as far as that standpoint. Um, but that's really about it. Uh, I mean, overall, was it worth paying for and getting? I would say definitely, um, just considering Windows could not even read the drive. Um, the one thing I got from Macronus was they said um, it has to boot to Windows, and Windows has to be able to see, I was going to say see or access, but I think it's just see the drive, because um, clearly Windows cannot access the drive. I, it just sat there and just timed out on me. It wouldn't read the files. Um, but I was able to run a Cronus revive, and it pulled up the drive, and it pulled pretty much majority of the files off of there. Um, there was a decent amount that didn't get just because the drive is failing. But I got most of the files off there, so I would say overall it was, it was well worth it. So, alright, thanks for watching.